What marketing really means. The word marketing is used in different ways by different people and the subject of marketing is huge. What I find is that when I ask people about their marketing, they tell me about their promotion and their sales. And this is indeed part of marketing, but only a part. And they use the word marketing as what I would call a posh word for selling, because the word selling is a bit crude but marketing is much more sophisticated. And as I say, selling is part of marketing, but there's a lot more to it. We tend to get obsessed with marketing from a consumer's point of view. We, we see the glitzy adverts, the clever social media, uh, and all the things that are being thrown at us all the time. And we get involved in that when we're selling our products uh, in the creative industries. But first of all, uh, we've got to look at strategic marketing because I draw a very clear distinction between, on the one hand, strategic marketing and then secondly, operational marketing or marketing communications. So before we get into the communication aspect of marketing, we need to look at the strategy. And that's very much about deciding which markets to focus on in the first place and quite deliberately, which markets we are not going to focus on. These are big, big strategic decisions that take place before any kind of communication happens. And in that sense, I would say a strategy is invisible, certainly invisible to the consumer. They will see the adverts that are directed at them. They won't see adverts that deliberately aren't directed at them because they're not the target market. They never see the adverts that don't get produced because they're not going to be very effective. And so there's a lot of strategic thinking that has to go in before we get into the operational side of marketing. And then in the operational side, of course, that is about communication. That is about advertising, social media, promotions, all the communication that we need to get involved in and that we, we do as creative entrepreneurs. And we also uh, are subject to it as consumers in everyday life. When we get to marketing communications, we need to recognize that we have different audiences, perhaps even for the same product or people you know, who buy into our product for different reasons. And that's where we need to be very um, analytical and very organized. And I talk about the three M's of marketing. The first M is the market to decide which market we're going to focus on, you know, which um, market segment perhaps. The second M is the message. What are we going to say to that particular market about our product? And then thirdly, the medium. What is the best medium to use to convey our message to that particular market? And it's very logical, it's very simple, it's very common sense. But a lot of people don't do that because they start at the other end with the medium. They say, we're gonna use social media because it's cool or you know, we really like Instagram or Facebook or whatever it is that's their favorite medium of communication. But the point is that we should choose the media according to it being the best way to convey a particular message to a particular audience. And so by thinking things through in a logical way, market first, message second, medium third, then that will lead us to choosing the best medium that suits the market rather than suits ourselves. So that's just one example of how we can be um, more organized, more um, clever in the way that we do marketing communications. And I talk a lot about that um, in my book called Chase One Rabbit, Strategic Marketing for Business Success, 63 Tips, Techniques and Tales for Creative Entrepreneurs. It's available and was actually designed as an ebook, but it's also in paperback and audiobook formats. So in conclusion, I would say that marketing is a huge subject 
It includes strategy as well as communications. And we're making a big mistake if we overlook the strategy which must come first and then having decided which markets to focus on on the basis of our competitive advantage, our position within the market and our rivals, then we decide um, how to communicate, being clever using the three M's of marketing and many other techniques. So marketing is big, strategic marketing comes first and operational or marketing communications comes after that.